Muito bem, Débora, nós estamos aqui é, para perguntar a você é, algo que você responde no seu livro que está sendo lançado na Flip, Coisas que não quero saber. É, por que você escreve? Why do you write? <risos> um, so, in my book, Things I Don't Want to Know, I suppose I write to think more deeply about everything I want to push away. So, uh, the things I don't want to know uh, are the things we know anyway, but we choose to repress. And so, the writing is like digging to discover these awkward, difficult things that, um, that maybe I do want to know more about and hope, fingers crossed, that the readers might want to know more about too. <laughs> uh, but um, at first I was reading uh, George Orwell's 1946 essay of, of the same title, Why I Write. And he had four headings, four reasons for why he wrote and they were uh, political purpose, historical impulse, aesthetic enthusiasm, and sheer egoism. And I thought those were really good. And that I would try and give them a spin from a female writer's point of view. And they proved very confronting, uh, very uh, they offered me, uh, Orwell offered me, uh, a great deal in his, uh, in his titles. Well, uh, when I was a child, uh, for one year in my life, I didn't speak. Uh, I was mute. Um, not at home. I spoke a lot. I was very loud at home. But at school uh, in South Africa, for one year, I never spoke not to teachers, not to children. And um, then one day, a teacher, to try and get me to speak more, she said, why don't you write your thoughts down? And I gave it a go, and I wrote down my thoughts. And I discovered that they were quite loud, and that I liked, I liked to write down my thinking. Mm -hmm. So that was sort of the beginning of, of just, just really um, the only way that I could really communicate for that year. And also, uh, when I, uh, in, in, that, in that time, I discovered the power of silence because you know what it's like if somebody speaks all the time you kind of stop listening. Like it's nice now just to have a little bit of silence. And then when somebody uh, chooses to be silent, you want to know more about their story. You want to know more about them. So, so all writers, um, write about how they experience the world. So how you experience the world and I experience the world, we will have similarities and we will have differences. And those differences in part will be to do with the things that you are entitled to and the things that I uh, might be entitled to. So already our subjectivity is different. Our point of view is different. But the world is not arranged to the advantage of women and children. It's arranged to the advantage of men. And women have to make their way in a world that's not arranged for them. They have to find a place. They have to, they have to really work very hard to find a place. A female writer cannot afford to feel her life too clearly. If she does, 
She will write in a rage when she should write calmly. So that's the, the phrase from Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own. She will write in a rage when she should write calmly. She will write foolishly when she should write, write wisely. She will write of herself when she should write of her characters. She is at war with her lot. So Virginia Woolf, uh, she wrote this in 1929. And she was full of anger. She was full of rage. But she knew that she couldn't afford to let that rage um, put a stop to, uh, to nuance, to making, to, to, to making the work as, as whole, as, as, as fluent, as complicated as possible. Because if we just scream, then that's just a scream. She wrote such a clear crit critique of the society of her time. Um, and especially for the women of her time. Uh, what do I think? I think that anger is a very good thing. I think that uh, especially for, for women, because we're told to keep quiet. We're told to be good. We're told to be pretty and to be serene. But these are not the main characteristics of femininity, to suffer, to endure, to be serene. We don't want those to be our main characters. So anger can help us to, to really tell things, tell things about our lives, how we experience them, and to push through into other people's experience, men and women of the same thing.